In this unprecedented race to the White House this year in a nation divided by its various visions on health care, the size of government, and personal freedom I have come up with. A splendid idea. Mr. President. There is one issue. Companion animal protections. That we both can agree on before the national debate tonight. Excellent. I wholeheartedly agree with you. Governor Romney. Americans can recognize a good compromise. Let's unleash our progressive ideas during debate tonight. You started out his debate with an excellent choice, Governor Romney. Ohio, a battleground state, needs three new companion animal laws. First, the Ohio Vet Board needs to regularly check its vets for standard of care. Right now the vets go unchecked year after year. The public is largely unaware of the serious, dangerous slaps in state oversight. We don't need any more regulations, Mr. President. Right now there are no checks at all. The Board of Health does not ever check animal hospitals. Also, Ohio is only one of four states that does not prosecute animal abuse as a felony. There is a large grassroots movement, Nitro's Army, that wants to take a bite out of that antiquated law. I'm pro-life, human and animal. The legislature should do all it can to protect our animals, as patients, and pet owners, as consumers. Bill and I have always run with the big dogs. I started the Affordable Animal Care Act when we were both president. Now I am firmly behind the challenge of banning Ohio dog auctions. You can follow the money right to deplorable puppy mills. That's a great idea, Madam Secretary. I'd like to get that on the front page tomorrow and let everyone know that individuals from 15 states come to Ohio to buy and sell dogs. Because there are no laws in place to stop this deplorable act. I don't want to see some reporters paw through my personal papers. If I want to knock a story right off the front page, I just change my hairstyle. It works every time. This issue is going to bring American legislators on both sides of the aisle together to put the collar on collaboration. Those legislators not working together will be spending additional time in my dog house instead of the state house. Make no bones about that. Each of us knows that we have an obligation to care for the old, the young, and the sick. We stand strongest when we stand with the weakest among us. Let's have a tea party. We need to celebrate these three new laws. I really love tea party people. Governor, your tea party is not Michelle's or my personal cup of tea. I always think a beer summit works best. Raise your glasses high everyone for improved veterinary oversight, felony for animal abuse, and bad dog auctions. Positively wonderful, Mr. President. This is exactly the kind of pro bono work I enjoy most. Our work together should definitely take a bite out of companion animals' problems. It's now up to you to vote for those legislators who support animal protections.